consoles, you know, DS, Game Boy. Yeah.
to the truck. Fifteen, that way. Fifteen. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon, sorry. Twelve forty quick, that way, you don't use it. That's not you, don't lose that way, do you do? Well, that's mine, I'll give it you back. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, it's your PS2 games. Alright. Oh, it's your PS2 games. Found each, mate.
Bye games. Uh, Two for each, three for a fiver. They're um, VTEC games. Alright. Well, the loose ones. This is uh, an update of the stuff that I picked up at the car boot. Uh, as you can see, this is Grand Theft Auto. It's brand new and it's sealed. Um, I was really happy to find this. I got this for 50p. Factory sealed, Sony. Absolutely mint condition. And I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that I picked up. Video games, DVDs, etc. So stay tuned. Another thing I picked up was Life of Pi on Blu-ray DVD. Oh, sorry, Blu-ray 3D and Blu-ray plus digital copy on ultraviolet. I got that for four quid. Brand new. Absolutely chuffed to get that. Another thing I picked up, you might have seen this on the video, 
is this brood truck. Uh, he wanted 15, I offered him 12. I walked around for another hour or so, and then went back and offered him 10, and he took it. I'm really chuffed about this because they're about 100 quid, and you have to get them from Germany. Um, and it's an absolute bargain. So right, here we are at the top floor. I'm going to go through some of the stuff that I picked up. I did it once before, but didn't work again. I'm having real problems with the cameras at the moment. Something to do with the heat. The heat up here, I don't know what, how many degrees it is. It's absolutely roasting. Right, the first thing I picked up was Pikmin. Nintendo GameCube. Uh, I got that for a pound. Discs Mint. It's got a nice uh, Zelda Windwalker flyer in there. And just get it out. It's a nice bit of uh, gaming history, so that was a pound. The disc is mint. What was that? Uh, next thing got was Daxter on PSP. No manual. The box is a bit crap. Oh, there you go. Next one I got, Populous. Uh, that's in mint condition on the PS1. Game's not worth crap though, is it? So, really matter. Next one I got was uh, Nintendo GameCube, Super Monkey Ball. Uh, as you can see, it's got a five pound price tag on there, reduced to two quid, and then I got it for a quid. Should have looked in it really, because it's Super Monkey Ball manual and it's Spider-Man disc. Not too bothered about that. I can always get rid of the box to someone who needs the box and vice versa with the other thing so there you go uh, next thing got, I'm just going to run through these quick it's absolutely stifling up here Call of Duty Finest Hour, Xbox Grand Theft Auto, Mint with the maps, everything uh, Vice City the disc is absolutely pristine Nintendo GameCube, Simpsons Hit and Run Battlefield 3 uh, limited edition, two disc. I got that for four quid. I think that's on the video, but you don't see me actually buy it. You hear me buying it, offering him the four quid. Uh, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup GameCube. Uh, Halloween 2. This is a DVD, by the way. Uh, John Carpenter, as you might know, I'm a big John Carpenter fan. And I had these films before, longed them out, never got them back off mates and stuff, so I'm going to have to collect them again. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this, but I've got an original the thing poster, John Carpenter. It's signed by John Carpenter, a big movie buff. So that's what I tend to look out for, stuff like that as well. Uh, Wizard of Oz, wouldn't leave this behind on DVD for 50p. Not that I'm interested in it, it's a two disc edition, it'll go on eBay. Touch of Evil, Orson Welles, brilliant, Charlie Eston. Max Work 2, it's actually Max Work 1 and 2 on Region 1. It's really strange when you go to a car boot and you find something that you've been looking for. We've been after Max Work for ages. And what happens? I find both of them. And what? What? A bit further down, what do I find? Max Work. <laughs> DVD. So, happy to get them. Space Invaders on PS2, in mint condition, not worth crap though. Um, Conspiracy, PlayStation 2, not worth crap, but I'll have a look at it because I've never played it. Uh, Cold Winter, my opinion, one of the best games on the PS2 ever. Absolutely loved this, think he enjoyed it more than Resident Evil's on PS2, not, on the, not the PS1 Resident Evil's. Well, this was a really involving game, it was brilliant, loved it. I'm going to look forward to playing that again. Probably end up being a disappointment now. Silent Hill, Boxes Knackered, Silent Hill 2, sorry, Boxes Knackered, 2 disc edition, but the discs are absolutely mint. Can't understand why the discs are mint, the box is shagged. Don't know why. Pounder, by the way, all these. Uh, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance, mint condition. I got six PS2 games up one for a five, I think you see it on the, D, on the video. Uh, PS2, World War II Soldier, mint condition, not worth anything now. I'm going to go through these in different ways, you know, all together, I can't be bothered. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, Game of Shadows, DVD, I've not seen this one so I picked it up anyway. 
uh, graveyard shift was 80 pence. Uh, picked it up really quick in a few DVDs, thinking it was getting the Stephen King one. Made the blunder. It's not. It's that vampire crappy one. I wanted the Stephen King one. Uh, Night of the Living Dead Resurrection uh, reboot of Night of the Living Dead. It's worth a view. Uh, Legion, Legend of Excalibur on PS2. Never played it, I'll give it a go. There's nothing else to do. Uh, what's that? Uh, Game Q, no, sorry, Game Adva Boy Advance. Uh, Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow. It's boxed, the box is absolutely battered to buggery, but the game's in there, the manual's in there. So, okay. Right, I got three. Nintendo DS games. These will be going on eBay. I got these for uh, I think pound each. And uh, Dora, the, Dora the Explorer, Dora Says Snow Princess, Peppa Pig the game, and the Little Mermaid. Yep, they were a pound each. Uh, Rogue Spear on PS1. The disc of the manual absolutely mint. The box is cracked, but I can replace that. It's not worth crap though, but it's good for the collection. Uh, another thing I picked up was uh, VHS and The Empire Strikes Back, widescreen edition. I like to pick these up because they have a little good box art in there. It's like if you can see in there, it's got a nice box art and it's in mint condition, it's not a rental or anything. The old VHS, like I say, it's best to see the originals. Star Wars The Phantom Menace on DVD, Attack of the Clones. And Avenger of the Sith. They were a fiver for the three. As you know, Phantom Menace sells quite decent money on eBay. Now, <laughs> bought one of these for a fiver. I think you see on the DVD when I buy some. He tries stiffing me for a quid. It was 11 quid the total that I paid for Star Wars, the original trilogy in Star Wars, the prequels. And the Orson Welles uh, movie. He won't knock anything off. It was 11 quid. I gave him a 20 and he tried giving me 8 back. Uh, but I was a bit disappointed actually. I would have just bought the others if I'd have walked just down the row of stalls. Because I paid a fiver for this one, which isn't in great nick. But the discs are all mint. Walk down the row of stalls and find another one. Let's see, mint. Condition. Mint condition. This got, got this one for three quid. So should have waited a little bit. Anyway, another thing I got was a uh, Airfix Super Marine Spitfire. Uh, Mark one, Mark two A, which will be going on eBay. Uh, Doctor Who game, electronic game. It's a Tardis. If you switch it on. straight on eBay. 50p that. Uh, another thing we got was uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 game guide. It's 50 pence. Worth 50p. I've got a few guides, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2 etc. I don't really tend to pick them up because they clutter the place up but it was 50p so I went for that. And that's it, so if you like what you see, and uh, like I said, the video was a bit of a disaster because due to the heat, the camera kept failing, it didn't seem to pick anything up while I was actually picking it up. So if you uh, tune in next week, I'll probably do a better one, if the, uh, the weather's a bit cooler, and the camera works a little bit better, um, I will upload another video if you like what you see, if you want to subscribe. I'm always picking up video games, rare video games, uh, DVDs, etc. Movie related stuff. I've got absolutely tons of stuff around here. This is absolutely thousands of games and DVDs. I'll just show you a little snippet over there and stuff that I've picked up over the years. So if you like what you see, subscribe and I'll catch you later. Bye.